great in the name of Jesus, the pastors in the house, the friends, the youth and Sunday school, be great in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall put to us and declare it. And he's saying when we come to him, he teaches us his ways. My prayer this morning is why is going to speak to us. May we understand it and run with it. it. It's one of those messages that I also put in the season. The lawyer. Our theme for tonight is you are born of a woman. Hallelujah. And under it, the subtitle that I, I, I put there is it says everything born of a woman is born with authority. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's read in the book of Genesis, chapter 3. I will read only verse 15. I believe we, we know this. This picture is very well and what happened. The Bible says, and I will cause hostility between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. Hallelujah. Here is what God was saying, was talking to the snake and the woman. He cast the woman and said, you shall give birth with pain. And he cast the snake. Then on verse 15 he is saying, I will cause hostility between them. Then he is saying to the offspring of a woman, saying, he will strike your hurt and he will strike his heel. There is a vision that says, there is a vision that says, you will crush the head of the snake and annoy and he will bruise your heel. What is God saying to us through us? When I was reading this, it made me to understand something that no wonder Jesus was born of a woman. I don't know If you look at it in this morning, if I come and crush your head, right now. Chances of you dying are very high. But if you come and post my heel, I don't really need to go to the hospital. Such power that you have gone with. Such authority that you have gone with. To crush the head of the enemy. In everything that you are going through, in every person know that you are born with authority. Let's go to the book of Luke. I want us to understand something, and I, I hope today that you have your you have your notebook. We're going to have your scriptures that we go to read. Luke 10, 19. Then here the Bible is saying, Look, I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy. And you can walk among snakes and scorpions and crush them. Nothing will eat you. Hallelujah. Why the Bible is not saying, I am giving you? He is saying, I have given you. From the beginning of Genesis, now we are in the New Testament. No wonder Jesus had to be born of a woman. Because God knew, because he says, I never change, I remain the same. He knew that everything, everyone born of a woman is born of power. Amen. God knew that I cannot just bring my son, not if I don't bring him through the woman. Because he knew that anything that comes through you as a woman is is born of authority. It's not like the, the inheritance that you get from your father. This one is different. You know, with inheritance, 
when you look at Jacob and Saul, Jacob wants to start with his inheritance. If the Lord says the first one gets the inheritance, people can rob you of inheritance. But this is the birthright. You are born with it. The authority to crush down the head of the enemy. Now he's saying, I have given you. He's not saying, I am giving you. Because he knows it is done. And because you are born of a woman, you cannot change it. Hallelujah. Because even if you can tell the scientists, everything the enemy can copy it. But not a human being. They can create, they can even manipulate food that you eat. But they cannot manipulate the human being. Didn't they try to, to create a person? Hallelujah. Amen. But because which that is born of a woman is born with authority. And why is that authority? The first one is to cast the head of the head. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Look, I have given you authority. Over all the power of the enemy. And you can walk among snakes and scorpions and crush them. Nothing will eat you. But don't rejoice because evil spirits obey you. Hallelujah. Amen. My focus is evil spirits obey you. You know why? Because you are not born of it. Here is The evil spirits obey. Don't put your focus on don't rejoice because you will not rejoice because you don't know it yet. Evil spirit obey you. Wake up in the middle of the night and command them and crush their head because it was given. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. No one will take it away from you. Only thing that can mess with it is ignorance. One thing that can mess with it and demons will play on you is because they are aware that you are not aware of the authority that you have. Imagine scorpions. Scorpions are poisonous. But here the Bible says something that was done. English is saying given. It's not saying I am giving. Past tense given in the book of Genesis. Hallelujah. Let's look at another authority. I want us to to understand the one we can. I want us today to understand who we are. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah. The verse that everyone loves. But when I read it, when I read it, we love to say the authority to approve, to tear down everything like that. We love that verse very well. But let's hear what it, what it says. Jeremiah 1, uh, it reads as follows. Then the Lord reached out and touched my mouth and said, Look, I have put my words in your mouth. Today I appoint you to stand against nations and kingdom. So you, you must uproot the theater, destroy and overthrow. Others you must build up and plant. Have you know, remember when he was talking about the enemy? He said he gave you authority in Genesis. Then in Luke he said, I have given it to you. But here he's saying, today I appoint you. It's pleasant. I want you to understand something about authority upon our lives. When it comes to demons, it's given to us. 
When it comes to the enemy, Christ will command. Hallelujah. Then here, he said to Jeremiah, I appoint you to stand against nations and kingdoms. Nations is human beings. Right? Kingdoms, you find human beings in them. Right? Now he's saying, remember, with the snake, the enemy, the demons, we are done with it. The authority is on us. Now he's talking about nations, me and you. That's why he's making it present. I appoint you to stand against nations and kill them. Some you must uproot and tear down, destroy, overthrow. The same God says, in the book of Jeremiah, I want us to understand something. One verse 17. Get up and prepare for action. Go out and tell them everything I tell you. Do not be af afraid of them, or you will look foolish in front of them. Say this the authority given over nations. If you are afraid, you will look foolish. It means I have the authority over nations, but if I don't know how to use it, yeah. I will be embarrassed. Because in the same verse, when you look at what saying to Jeremiah, these people were disobedient to God. That God was speaking to Jeremiah about. He said to me, Tell them that they've seen this and this and this and that. And, and 
touch your face. It's one of the functions. At school, they will tell you a person has many functions, isn't it? So today, you know that there is another function that you need to use. When it comes to the enemy, you crash, crash to kill it. Why is the Bible saying it? Why the Bible is not saying Elijah prayed? 
worrying that in, in verse 16 is not saying a prayer of a righteous person. Why is it specifically saying earnest prayer? Jesus prayed. He prayed to the point that his sweat became blood. Hallelujah. Hannah prayed to the point that they thought that she was drunk. It means she was moved. It means Jesus was moved by what he was praying about. Who sit 
throne of God. There are people who sit down and review their case with God because we are praying in the name of Jesus. One thing that I, 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 I would like us to understand in the book of Isaiah 38 about Ezekiel, hallelujah, when the angel came and said, Okay, when the prophet said, I'm sorry, when the prophet said, the sickness that you have is going to kill you. Because there are people who knew who God, who presented the case of God, because we are born with authority. Not even angels present the case. Only us. As a king, when he was in terms, because he understood the authority and he knew that the God that I serve is the kind of God that I reveal things with. The Bible says, he stand on the wall and say, remember. So, when you use your authority, you need to always have point of reference so that you can say to God. Righteousness. If you want your authority to work for you, when you review the gates of God, righteousness is needed. Even if kingdoms are against you, you can say to God, remember, I have done this and this and that. Hallelujah. Always have something. Live your life in a way that you know that should something happen when I review the case with the master, I have something to say. Because he said, he is a God who says, let us listen to you. And you know why he can say something like that to you as a human being and not change it? Because you are in his own image. Because you are actually like him. Do we get this? Yeah. That's why Jesus didn't fall from heaven and just come down. Because the authority that you have, you are created in his own image. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So live in righteousness. Authority that you have will work for you. You will see it working. Hallelujah. Yes. That the last thing that you need to do. What did I say first when we pray? Pray a heartfelt prayer. And your access code is Jesus. And you must review the situation together with God to prove your innocence. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because you know oh, what I understand about this verse is God doesn't change. He doesn't change. If me and Mrs. Kalan, we are both his children, eh? if Mrs. Kalan has done something wrong to me, and I go, I need to prove my innocence to God. Hallelujah. When I review the case, he doesn't change. He doesn't say, I'm better than Sister. No, he doesn't work like that. Because she is also born with the same authority. But the innocence of the work. Hallelujah. The innocence will make me to approve and tear down which is not the next person. Then the other thing that we will talk about when you rap after you plead the case and prove that your innocence, you are threat in thanksgiving. Hallelujah. You are threat in thanksgiving. Let's go to the book of Philippians 4.
Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray, pray about everything. Tell God what you want and thank Him for all He has done. Hallelujah. Amen. There is another translation that says, with thanksgiving. You must do this with thanksgiving. Just like in the book of, it's in the book of Luke. There are uh, ten men with, 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 with lepros. Ne? You know the story of God. And the ten came to Jesus. He told them what to do. Only one came. The Bible says he threw himself onto the, the legs of Jesus. Ne? And he shouted with praise, thanking Jesus. Then Jesus said, your faith has made you well. It means when you thank him, you serve him. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Because yes. the same Jesus is asking him, when the night not healed, why is he saying to this one that your faith has made you well? But he not well. So when you thank him, you provoke him to see that he's for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank him because he's saying, when you pray in his name, the access is called. Anything you ask in his name, if you believe. Chances of me keeping it 
the Lord against me. That everyone who is born of a woman, mighty God, 
in his private authority. But if God can help us to catch it and run with it, that even in our spirit we may catch it, so that we may be able to exercise it in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank the Lord for delivering your message this morning. I thank you for the strength. I thank you, great man. I thank you, Father, that I shall never be the same. Each person who was listening, mighty God, I thank you for their lives, for now they know the authority that is upon their lives. Nothing will scare them. Nothing will make us to be afraid because we are born with power. We are born with authority. In Jesus' name we pray. Take the glory, bring the name. Thank you for teaching us this. Thank you for you know the word anything to drop us who we are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Do it, Lord. Your will be done. Do it. Do it, Lord. Against my will. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Do it. 